Well, the third season is always very special, and every next season is also very special. And this one is uh, the very, very special because we just finishing the celebration of the Capital of Culture year, but also we continue to doing our projects after the celebration of Capital of Culture. And I'm glad to say that we staying on the same very, very high level of entertainment and of our shows and in my point of view we just keep going on the top of the wave. Vasily and I have put together what we hope is an exciting range of programs for, for the concerts next season. There will be his trademark performances of the Russian classics Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff, Stravinsky, Shostakovich and he will pursue his love of Elgar and Mahler. There will be music by Beethoven, Brahms, Bruckner, Mendelssohn, Mozart, Mio, Ravel, Rossini, and Respighi, and many more besides. Well, all the artists uh, who's coming is, I think, is sort of, you know, step up for the Liverpool Orchestra, because all of the conductors and all of the soloists are really best quality, really in the top of the charts of classical music. This year, we'll have a wonderful performance of the Verdi Requiem. We'll be working with the European Opera Centre. Uh, once again in a semi-dramatised version of two one-act operas, one by Offenbach and one by Wolf Ferrari. And there will be song cycles through the season with some of the great singers on the scene today. And for Ashkenazi, it's also very special. He's just been recently with the European Union Youth Orchestra. It will be his second appearance per year. And Manfred Honig, who is one of the most prominent conductors from Germany, he will be here also for him, the very special. Robin Ticciati, who is one of the best young conductors. Sir Simon Rattle and Vladimir Ashkenazi, our 2008 Artist Laureates, will be coming. Sir Charles Macaris will return and our beloved Libor Peshek will once more be with us. Notable firsts for us will be the concert by the great Italian conductor Rinaldo Alessandrini, bringing his take on Baroque and classical music to a full-size symphony orchestra. We're doing also I think it will be actually a UK debut for new Colorado soprano Lesniva. She's brilliant. You can try to find on the website what, what she's singing and how she sounds. And then through whole the season, it's programs and programs and programs. And I'm glad to say that all of them are very special. Of course, we have some of the great instrumentalists um, with us in our concert series. Just need to mention the names of Midori, who's in recital with us, Sarah Chang, who will be performing with Sir Charles McCarris. James Ennis, Arabella Steinbecker, just to mention violinists. On the piano, we'll hear Radu Lupo in recital, Barry Douglas playing Brahms, Jean-Philippe Collard playing Mozart. So all of them are great, and I'm, for myself, it's very difficult to choose one peak of the season. One of our major themes for 2008 has been a concentration on the human voice. And once again in the 2008-09 season, we have some wonderful singers, an international star cast for the Verdi Requiem. We have tenor Alfie Bow in a Christmas special, Natasha Marsh with us and Carl Davis for New Year's Eve concert, and Christine Brewer singing the four last songs of Strauss. It's keep going and it's keep climbing up and I'm very happy to say that I hope that the city of Liverpool and, and the councils and all the people will also share our passion to keep running, to keep climbing on the top, because I think that the Capital of Culture year is a good step up, but it's just one of the many steps up which we can do. We've tried in our 2008-2009 season to bring you some of the most interesting and exciting programmes that we can imagine to put together, and some of the best artists on the musical scene, as it stands in the minute, from young rising stars to, uh, to the great master conductors such as Sir Charles Macaris. And with Vasily Petrenko leading the orchestra once again this season, I think we have one of the most exciting young artists on the musical scene today, well recognized for his great performances by critics and audiences alike.